from broken antenna to scorpion antenna. So I've got here the Meteor 65 and my old antenna would uh, get like sucked into the propellers and get chopped up and it got damaged, cut short, and so the signal really got terrible. So I bought this antenna off of Race Day Quads, the dipole antenna for two bucks, something like that. It's a UFL connector. It's super, super easy to replace. All you do is unscrew the canopy, then on the underside, unscrew the VTX from these two holes, and it pops out. Then you can just pluck off the old antenna and snap on the new antenna, and it's a super easy fix. Now one thing is, this new one is extremely long. You can see the old one, even with its uh, extra antenna on there, only came to about here. And to prevent it from getting chopped in the propeller, what I think I will do is hot glue it to the canopy, so that way it cannot get chopped in the propeller. Okay, so I've gone ahead, screwed the canopy back on, and the VTX board inside there. Now, <laughs> as you can see, this antenna is just huge on that thing. It really sticks out. So, ideas, maybe glue it to one side. Maybe just leave it. Maybe it's so long that it won't even get stuck in that, which, actually, by the feel of it, you can see it's on, like, a downward angle. And uh, the rigidity of this antenna, I don't think that it would get stuck or sucked into one of these propellers. I think this antenna would be just fine leaving it as is dangling out, if you're okay with that. Maybe just bend it up like that. I'm thinking perhaps hot glue it like that. On the Meteor 65, it is replaceable. You don't have to replace the entire VTX board because the old ones used to be soldered on there, I think. I went ahead and just put a small dab of hot glue right under that antenna, gluing it to the canopy, just so that way it doesn't get chopped in the prop and I don't have to worry about it at all. And so that's the antenna fix, Meteor 65.